called ethereal so let's this is how ethereal looks like uh, i think currently ethereal has been uh, the development of ethereal has stopped and it has been replaced by utility called wireshark so wireshark also has the same look and feel you can download either one of these from the internet so what we can do here is for ethereal first you have to tell it which interface to start capturing on right so as you can see broadcom 440 this is basically our ethernet interface so let's just go ahead and say prepare in which we actually can mention some options which we would like i'm just giving you a very basic tutorial please go ahead and dig deeper into how to use various options etc so first option which i've checked is a play update list of packets in real time hide capture info in dialog right and then what we can do is we can simply just start the sniffing loading so now let's go ahead and generate some traffic thing is a little slow so as you can see that 0 0.9 sent an ARP request for 0 0.10 right to which 0 0.10 replied back after that the ICMP echo requests and replies have followed so now the beauty is that this gives you a much more better picture of what's happening using the GUI so you can see the protocol and even more info about what is there inside that protocol packet so let's just uh, stop sniffing right so as you can see let's say we are seeing an ICMP eco reply packet so you can actually go ahead expand see the destination source and the type for ethernet header then go ahead open up the ip header let's put this up you can see the various fields of the ip header and their values it's it's very graphical in nature so it's pretty simple to get a snapshot of what's happening the source address the destination address etc and now even going further you can have a look at the icmp protocol see the data here and whatever you click here gets highlighted in the dump below what this dump actually shows is the packet in hex and the packet in ASCII so let's say I type I, I click on checksum 335c you'll see that 335c these are the two bytes in the packet and their exact location where the checksum field is being stored so one can clearly see that this provides a very powerful interface you know you can click on it's an ARP reply packet and you know once again see the headers destination source type also you can see the address resolution protocol you know we've discussed many of these things sender mac ip mac etc etc now what might happen sometimes is that the amount of traffic might be very overwhelming so you might want to filter what you see on the screen right so for that we can use the filter expression here let's say now we only want to see our packets and we put our as a filter and say apply for some reason the
so you know this is how we actually use this and also at times apply a filter expression here let's say like icmp and go ahead and apply the filter and now you only see the icmp packets right rest of the packets have been removed then you can go ahead clear the filter and you once again get back the older trace so you could actually play along with the filter and decide what you want to see right this is a much more faster way of doing it and also very visually appealing i would advise you to go ahead download these tools and start playing with them in order to understand how they work it's very important to be very conversant with such a tool so that you understand what's happening on your network it can help you debug a network problem at the very same time you know when you are doing your packet sniffing or later pen packet injection it can really help you understand what's happening on your network when you send out a packet so with this i'd like to end this uh, video series and wish you the best of luck i hope you have fun programming for sniffers see you in a later section thank you